the Royale. The Enterprise investigates strange debris in orbit around a nearby planet only to find a piece of a NASA spacecraft. And that's not a bad idea in itself as a starting point for a story, but it reminded me too much immediately of Star Trek The Motion Picture and V'ger. After finding the debris, they investigate the planet further. Geordi says the planet's surface temperature is negative 291 degrees Celsius, which is below absolute zero. I think your scanners might be malfunctioning, Geordi. The planet has a structure on it surrounded by breathable air, but it doesn't make any sense. So as is typical, they say, hey, let's just go down there. Riker goes to talk to Picard, who is studying Fermat's last theorem, which is supposedly unsolved for 800 years, but in real life it was solved a few months after the episode aired. In our arrogance, we feel we are so advanced. And yet, we cannot unravel a simple knot tied by a part-time French mathematician working alone without a computer. But realizing that they're arrogant doesn't stop them from being arrogant in pretty much every episode so far. And it seems like Picard's always sitting in his ready room looking at stuff to waste time. He was looking at that orbiting planet structure before. Now he's looking at this math theorem. What does he actually do? When they get down to the planet, the structure has a revolving door, and it leads into an Earth-style casino. The away team loses contact with the Enterprise. Data logically suggests beaming back up immediately since they have lost contact, but Riker says there's no harm in looking around. We've seen before that they've made this mistake, and apparently they have never learned from it. And it's interesting to know that Troy can sense Riker, even though they've disappeared from the scanners. And the whole thing suddenly turns into an episode of Twin Peaks. Did Rita call? I'm busy. You're busy? This is my life I'm talking about here. The Enterprise is trying to get in contact with the away team, which feels like a shoehorned thing just to give an excuse to cut back to them once in a while. They're always working on it, or almost there. Status report. We're attempting to employ alternate encoding schemes. Progress. We've accessed the range of encoding scheme alternates. We're almost there, Captain. We'll be able to attempt contact in a few minutes. I'd like to run this test. Make it so. Data says that none of the other people in the hotel are emitting life signs. And the away team can't leave the hotel no matter what they try. Maybe they don't understand how revolving doors work. We already know they don't understand how non-automatic doors work. So maybe they're just stupid. Picard says, It's unlike Commander Riker not to follow procedure. But we've seen before that that isn't true. Everybody disregards procedure all the time. They do end up finding human DNA readings from one of the rooms in the hotel. They make their way up to the room and they find a copy of the book, Hotel Royale. And the novel exactly describes everything that's happening in the hotel. Data identifies the corpse as Colonel Ritchie, who was an American astronaut. They find his diary, where he says that everyone else on his ship was killed by some alien organism, which he presumes has created the hotel out of a feeling of guilt to try to make up for what happened to the rest of his crew. It assumed that the novel was a guide to human lifestyles and social habits. And that whole concept reminded me a lot of the ending of 2001. The Enterprise still doesn't have a way to get the away team out. Picard decides to read through the novel to see if there are any clues. It turns out, in the book, there are foreign investors who buy the hotel and then leave. The away team figures that if they can take the novel to completion, acting as the investors, then they can leave at the end. And during this whole scene, Data acts really stupid. I could see Riker telling him, play the part of the character in the book, but he doesn't. Data just starts acting like that on his own. I was confused. They win all the money, they buy the hotel, and they're able to walk out. The Royale. Overall? A very tedious episode with lots of lame humor. The story never felt engaging. The only good thing about it was that we didn't have another god being that turned out to be behind everything, manipulating everybody, even though that's still basically the same concept in the background. I would give this episode a C-. I gave it a C+. Plus. I really liked the idea. The whole episode felt like a mixture of Twin Peaks and the Twilight Zone, but there were some parts where the pacing felt really thin. The Enterprise sections where they're not doing anything, and the resolution where the away team figures out the solution and spends the entire last 10 minutes of the episode just having fun. It could have used some sort of B-plot for the Enterprise to have to deal with, or some later conflict within the novel when all seemed well but it really wasn't. That would have improved this episode quite a bit. It was okay. 